a polished bezel on the side there. We just take a quick walk around the system. We have the PSU, VGA, HDMI. There we have a USB that looks like a regular USB. Here's the card reader. If we turn it around to the front, uh, you can actually see this is a really interesting trackpad. It's got a nice matte finish and the plastic does not feel cheap at all. Uh, so we've got a single mouse button that actually dips across the entire front. I'm not sure how that will work out. That seems a little precarious. How it, But this is a pre-production sample so we'll forgive it because it does look cool. So you can see that the, um, the trackpad is kind of angled and this would be one of the scroll features here. So if we keep on going around to the other side, here they are. This is where the Lamborghini comes in, I think. The USB 3 ports with the audio uh, jacks there too, but I mean this is, uh, some people say 10 times as fast, I mean USB 3, there's not that many devices out there, but you start to see these and that's where we're going to start to see a roll of, of actual USB 3 devices. Webcams are particularly interesting. With the Ethernet and the Kensington ports. Uh, if you want to take a look at the back, you can see this is a really nice design. I mean the, the, the Intel Atom D510 is, is a desktop um, CPU, so we're probably not going to see the same battery life as um, the 450, but uh, the sign down there says we can expect about 7 hours, so 7.5 hours. So I'm pretty impressed with that if, that if that actually holds true. You can see there's actually a speaker around the back as well, and then there's that obviously that very sexy uh, Lamborghini logo that all you guys will be just drooling over. Now if we want to take a look around the front one more time. The webcam has a really cute aesthetic design, and this is one of the first newer netbooks that I haven't seen without the privacy shutter. Usually the, uh, the EPCs now are kind of coming out with that. You can see this keyboard, it feels great. What you can ex expect from an ASUS keyboard. And this is the uh, 11, this is a 12.1 inch model, so this is a full, this is a full chiclet keyboard. And then just up here, this would be the button to turn on the uh, ion. And I'm assuming that's with Optimus. No, it doesn't say Optimus, but uh, wouldn't mind checking that out. Turn it on, but that would, that would probably be to increase the performance on the on the Optimus netbooks. That's usually what that button does. And then over here we have the power. So this has been a quick walk around of the Lamborghini netbook. Very nice looking. Very nice. Oh, quick look around the bottom. Easy, easy to upgrade the memory. And why don't we just do a quick look at the spec sheet down here, just in case I miss anything. I'm Nicole Scott for Netflix News, taking a look at the new Lamborghini Netflix.